race might be a little bit too short. It's two Turing's. Come on! Welcome back to Forza Horizon 4. I promised you guys the other day when we jumped into the BMW Z4 Toyota Supra that we would unlock the legendary BMW M3 GTR today. And that is exactly what we're doing. So we've got the festival playlist and it looks a little bit different since we did that BMW Z4 video because I actually went in with some of the guys. We banged out the trial. We also banged out the off-road championship, which is awesome. So we're well on our way to unlocking the BMW M3. Fingers crossed this doesn't take an hour though because they, they have been. The M3 GTR. I didn't actually expect to get it that, that was, it was 37 minutes. And we got series seven, 80%. We got a second Ford Capri FE, one of the rarest cars in this game. Well, we've already made a video on the Ford Capri, so if you haven't seen that, I highly suggest you go and check that out because it is an incredible car. But I wanted to check out this BMW M3 and everybody in chat has already told me that I'm gonna be disappointed with it. I was coming into this being like, the M3 GTR is gonna be incredible, it's awesome, it's great. And all of you guys are shitting on my cereal. So we had the 2005 BMW M3 in the game already. However, now we've got the legit one. If, if, if you know the stuff with Lamar, how they need to have like production cars. Long story short, the BMW M3 GTR is a production version of a V8 M3. It's literally one of the most legendary cars though. You probably recognize this thing and you might not really know it you you probably recognize it from from this though anyways let's uh let's give it a little go see what we got completely bone stock bang a race out with it we'll come back do some forza horizon 4 customization and then we'll see how it is and maybe compare it with the old bmw m3 regardless we'll see how it goes let's go do the colossus it's been a little while since we've done that. I've not even driven the thing. I don't even want to listen to the engine note. I want to jump straight onto the track. Let's go. Oh, really? M3 GTR versus a Renault Clio. The Clio's just sent one around the outside. We're, we're in eighth place. Oh, great. Another one. There is no way that we're letting a Renault Clio beat this legendary car. They've had a crash. Crashed into the back of a Jag. Classic. I've only driven... In BMW M cars, I've only driven the new BMW M4. And that is an amazing, amazing car. I've never driven one like this. However, I will say, I know BMW M cars drive extremely well. So I would imagine this one's no different. I would also say, in my personal opinion, this is the best looking one. I don't know why, but I love the rear wing on it. I find it just looks super, super cool. All right, luckily for us, the AI is kind of slow. Can we send one up the inside on the old Jag? Send one up the inside on two Jags. They crash. Nicely done. I don't know. Seriously, though, it's such a cool car. I love the black roof as well. I believe that's actually carbon fiber. It's not just like a black painted roof or wrapped roof. It's actually carbon fiber because I think that's one of like the weight saving things they did. If I remember correctly, the interior sounds pretty goddamn solid. I don't- whoever suggested that, thank you. It sounds really raw, if that makes sense. I don't know if it does. On the back of the Clio, send it. Yes, that's first position. I mean, I shouldn't be happy. I've just overtaken a Renault Clio. Yeah, the, the interior sound is not bad. I, I, I'll take it. Outside is a little raspy. Uh, yeah, hella solid car very nicely built very well balanced straight out of the box I'm not complaining at all people like I don't know why people were like bringing my expectations so far down because like When you look at an e46, right? Even if it's a brand new like a nice brand new e46 a basic e46 is what I should say it's still a hella, hella good car. It's just the sound, honestly. Yeah, I get the sound. It's like... Kind of raspy from outside of the car, which... I don't know. It doesn't sound very V8-like. All right, well, let's go do some customization. Here's the thing. This is the other M3 E46 that we have in the game. And obviously, this one has a rocket bunny 
wide body kit for the thing, which is really, really cool. And I mean, for rear wing, what do we have? No way, we've actually already got the E46 M3 wing on the car. Are you kidding me? I'm not gonna get down over a car because another car in the game is similar to it. I feel like that'd be a little bit silly. Um, engines we've got four. We got a 6.2 V8, or we've got the 5.2 V10, which is the same engine that we use in the Z4, which is from the BMW M5. I'm feeling like we gotta go stock engine. That's the thing. Stock engine, we keep a rear wheel drive. We add a supercharger to make it more V80. No twin turbos for this thing. We do have a front bumper to give it some more grip. Nope. Bring out the tires. There's a lot of room in those fenders. Much better. Tire size on the M3, we go up to, we're 255, that's not huge, but we are gonna turn up the power a little bit, 285. Wait, 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 wait. I totally forgot to do tire compound. Wait, so what are we on? We're on sport tires already. Okay, so we could go up to race. That boosts us up a hell of a lot. I mean, it'd be interesting for sure. Okay, we are kind of breaking the M3 rules. I promise. Okay, if we're doing that, then hold on. Then I need to make it all wheel drive. I, I promise we will fix the M3 after this. Bear with me. I don't know why. But I kind of have a feeling that this thing could be a very good rally car. Disclaimer, I have no idea how well this car is going to work, if it works at all. I kind of like my M3, this paint job. I don't know who made this paint job, but that paint job, I, I'm like in love with that paint job. Props to you, whoever made that. Let's go, let's, let's go bang at a race in this. Stop making me race against Ford Focuses. I thought we had this discussion and we fixed it. But no, apparently not. Now, I am sorry about what I'm doing to a very, very legendary car. But I don't know why I had this feeling that I thought it could do well at this. Apparently, though, my feeling was not incorrect. It's really good at off-roading. I mean, it doesn't even have the most ground clearance. I didn't even tune the suspension. It's really nippy. I don't even know how much horsepower we have or how heavy we are. I did not pay attention to this build whatsoever. I have accidentally built a really, really good car. Jack says, I hate to burst your bubble, but I think you're playing on easy. I'm actually playing on expert. We're just destroying them. This car is legitimately just so good. I'm making the AI look bad. Just chuck it. There it goes. I mean, I have a feeling in real life, if you tried to do this, the M3 would probably explode. But... <laughs> Going and chucking it into a corner like that is so cool. And I love my paint job. Awesome. I don't know who made that, but 10 out of 10. Look, that's insane. Y'all saying, oh, it's on easy. It's on easy. Blah, 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 blah. Legitimately, that car is so good. I, I didn't expect to, um, to have that good of a performance, but, um, if anybody wants the tune, feel free to go give it a download. Everybody's calling bullshit on my victory, and everybody's challenging me to chuck it on unbeatable. Unbeatable difficulty it is. Oh, we got some Subarus. Okay, we have a Subaru. This should be a little bit harder this time. There's already people breaking all over the place. There's a Porsche. Let's go, M3 GTR. People don't believe how fast you actually are. Already from last up to fifth position. Oh, that's some understeer right there. Come on. Now these are going to be the hard positions to get. We got a Turing and some more Subarus up front. I am ripping this thing. The gears are about to explode. Subarus off into the Turing. Don't break in front of me. No, that should have been the overtake right there. That would have put me up to third. Ah, oh, damn. First and second now running away. And the understeer kicks in. Subaru! We got the Subi! There we go. Tureg's the next one. Tureg, thank you. Move! Move! We've got places to be! Go, buddy! Oh, the understeer on the road is real. Oh my god, we are closing in so fast. I don't know if we're gonna have enough time. Come on, the race might be a little bit too short. It's two Tureg's! Come on! They're both all-wheel drive! There we go! Up to second! One more corner to go! 
the turret gets some big air, M3, send it up the inside, that's first position, what, what, what are you saying, on unbeatable, everybody's saying my M3 is not fast enough, what are you talking about, oh my god, I would just like to say, Twitch chat, every single one of you need to eat your words. Nathan just says, well, I'm quitting Forza. <laughs> Anyways, we'll, we'll get rid of the jokes tune. Let's, um, let's chuck a different tune on. Now, earlier, I asked my boy Nathan to go in and make a tune for me. I said, um, I said if he could make a Forza Arrow tune and a no Forza Arrow tune, and obviously you guys can download either of these. They're both top of S1 class and both... Very, very good race cars. Now, I think I want to go full Forza Arrow because I feel like, although it will ruin the looks of the M3 with the ugly Forza wing, I feel like it'll make it a little bit more usable, I guess you could say. So here it is. We've got Forza Arrow now. We've got a big rear wing. Won't pay too much attention to that. We've got our carbon fiber wheels. Looking good. And, uh, let's go try Nathan's tune out. Not unbeatable. Ah, screw it. Unbeatable. I feel confident today. Nathan, you better have built a good car or boy, I'm gonna get smashed because the AI's brought out some pretty fast stuff in that Lotus and the Porsche and the Mustangs and... Alright, your M3's pretty quick. <laughs> I'm already up to seven. So what engine is this using? I can't hear it. There's too many cars all around. It is... That... Okay, one of these cars is super loud in this race. I can't hear mine. I am running the stock V8 by the sounds of it. Nathan, this thing's grippy, man. I like it. Oh, right in the back of the Lotus. Sorry, buddy. Keep in mind, this is un unbeatable as well. A Renault Clio's winning this race? Are you kidding me? Oh, the Lotus. No, <laughs> everybody just send one on me. Get out of the way. Okay, you guys are sending them. I'm gonna send them too. Sorry, boys. You all get what you get. There we go. I didn't even hit anyone that badly. This M3 is grippy as hell. Here we go. Push him out of the way. Get out of the way, little Cleo. You got nothing on the big boy cars back here. <laughs> I like it. I, I don't know why you guys were trying to, like, lower my expectations of the M3 GTR so much. I totally get the other M3 in the game. Kind of makes this one less cool. It's a really, really good car. Like... I'm, I'm sure it's not going to be smashing any leaderboards or stuff like that. But I find it's a really, really well put together car and really fun to drive. It's just so chuckable. I know I've been using that word before, but I mean, it, it, it describes what this car is pretty well. It's just one of those cars where you can go full send and you don't really need to worry about it. Those are my favorite type of cars.